It's early morning in Meru, where Kenya's central highlands rise up out of the Rift Valley. This is cat-growing country. <laughs> the pickers start at dawn. A gang of a dozen or so men set to work to gather the mira, as it's known here. Only the youngest stems will do, and for optimum freshness, it's got to happen fast. This can be precarious work. This farm belongs to my uncle. As you can see, there is, it's a mira farm. Right, this is the mira tree, the cat. This cat is the tree. cat mira tree. Right. Like many here, Jeff, Kubai and his family have been cultivating cat for generations. Traditionally, the people of this region have used this stimulant herb to stay alert and when discussing matters of importance to the community. I see you've got some here. Um, can, we, can we have a go? Okay. Okay. And then you, you chew the soft part of the, yep. the twig. Okay. okay. Slightly bitter taste. It's an acquired taste, but the chewing habit has spread and cat cultivation is now integral to the local economy. When the ban is effectant, it means my uncle will not afford education for his children. He might not afford shelter. He might not afford the basic things like clothing and food. Once the cat is picked, the sprigs are stripped of the more mature green leaves and sorted into small bundles. Well, each one of these bunches sells for about $10 locally, which is not bad money here. And as you can see, the whole community is getting involved in the sorting process. Indeed, the whole community relies on the cat business for a living. By charming our indigenous product as a drug, Local producers and dealers say exports to Britain account for about 15% of the total production here in Meru, and they're angry about potential losses worth millions of dollars. The British government has a national interest in the Meru community. The British government has their soldiers in Africa, especially Kenya. I think they know that this is not a drug. I'll leave it to their conscience. These sacks of cat will stay fresh only for a few days. Speed is of the essence. Campaigners say addiction to the stimulant is pulling families apart. But that's not how they see it here, where cat provides a living and a way of life. Gabriel Gatehouse, BBC News, in Meru, central Kenya.